some seedlings and I'm really excited to try these. I, I didn't have a lot of luck with my succulents overwintering. Um, my house is just not an ideal setup for it. So I thought I would try these Odinium obesums, which are codiciform plants. Um, I have a lot of luck with ponytail palms, so I thought I'd give these guys a try. So what I ordered um, from e an eBay seller was a six pack of a variety. Um, and I actually did an unboxing, but they all looked the same and it was just kind of ridiculous because I was taking one out after the other and they looked the same. What's going to make these different are the blooms. And I don't know if such young plants are going to bloom this year, but we'll see what happens. And if not, once they're matured next year, I hope to get some blooms. So I've got four of them planted up. I'm using terracotta pots. That's what's recommended. These are plants that normally grow in desert conditions. So terracotta pots are the best drainage. And what I am using for a soil mix, if you can get a look in here, I have cactus and succulent mix. I've added quite a bit of sand and I put a lot of vermiculite in it as well. And that is going to keep it from getting all condensed. It's going to be nice aerated soil. So I'm going to finish up my potting. By the way, I always put a little piece of coffee filter at the bottom. And I do this so that when I do water the plants, the soil is not going to all come flood flooding out. So I'm going to plant the seedlings right about up to this line. Um, any of the lighter green has been underneath the soil as it's been growing. So I want to do the same as I plant it up. It's always so dusty to plant these. I did give them a drink for a few hours while I went out to go buy pots. Um, they did look a little dehydrated after their trip here from California. These were grown in California, by the way. So I'm going to have to keep them pretty warm. I'm not, in the winter, I'll have to find a way to do it. But there's another one planted up. And I will do the last one. I think they're, they have a really cute shape. So I am excited to give these guys a try. And this about does it. This one has a great root on it. You can see there. I'm just going to place that in. Back, fill some soil and we're gonna be all set here we've got six new babies it's always good to get more than one plant too you just never know what's gonna survive the trip but I think these look great I'm excited to see what kind of flowers they're gonna make and we'll see if they bloom this year or they have to get bigger but we are all set here we have six little babies. So thank you for tuning in. Yeah. <laughs> a windstorm wind is coming in. I gotta get my Adidium obesum planted ASAP <laughs> before the storm. I don't know, really, it's been calm all day. Now the wind <laughs> chimes are going crazy. Okay. Please like, comment, and subscribe. <laughs> <laughs> All right. It was that. Okay. It was that very pregnant pause. Okay. Please like, comment. I forgot the last word. <laughs> okay. If you're interested in more content, please like, comment, and subscribe. Oh no, no. Start over. Wait. Okay. Keep going. Okay. All right. Um. <gasps> for more, for more pleasant prickles content, please like, comment, and subscribe. For more Pleasant Prickles content, please like, comment, and subscribe.